Good afternoon, all you lovely people. We are back, and yes, we chose another day where the elements are against us. Not as bad, the wind, I think, was worse than the rain. Rain you can cope with, but the wind was horrific on that last episode. Welcome back to the series, the handicap series. We find out what my handicap is. This is episode three in the series. One more episode after this, and we find out what my handicap is. So ladies and gentlemen, hopefully you've been keeping track. If you haven't, episode one and episode two are out now. This is episode three. We're at the beautiful Gosfield Lakes course. Beautiful course. Shame it's raining, but we're gonna make the most of it, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Handicap Series with England Golf. Let's get into it. Right, ladies and gentlemen, this is the first hole, par five. It's 477 yards. We've got bunkers all the way up. It's a slight dog leg right, out of bounds, all down the left-hand side. It's a tough one to start with, ladies and gentlemen. Tough one to start with, but we're gonna enjoy every moment today because last time, we lost our head a bit. We're not going to do that today. We've learned experience. We'll take that one, Zachary, straight down the middle. You see it bouncing? I see it bouncing. <laughs> yes, right. That's what we wanted, a good positive start. I don't mind the rain, ladies and gentlemen. I do not mind the rain. It's the wind that gets to me. Big shout out, big love to Zach behind the camera. He does a lot of work behind the camera, ladies and gentlemen, you don't see and probably doesn't get enough gratitude for. So big love. Zach, we love you in the rain. Let's go and get our handicap. Beautiful tee shot. I'm happy with that tee shot. We've got 227 left in, par five. It's just a case of getting down there. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, let's, let's start smart, right? It's a bit fat, but it's gonna travel lovely. That's lovely. Right. We'll take that one to start with. We are ch chipping up for the eagle. <laughs> it's showing. Could this be the start of something good? I hope so. Let's go. We are 60 yards away. 60 yards away. It's got to come over that little bank, hasn't it? And then it grew up, runs down to the green. I'm wondering whether I just play a 56 into it. Just smart play. There's no point trying to go high with a lob wedge. If we go 56, and just a good chippy 56. Even if I just get it on the green, I'm two putt for a par, right? That'd be a good start. That'd be a very good start. Travel a bit, travel a bit. Well, it's safely on, safely on. I was a little bit nervous about that just because I know off the back is out of bounds. Right, safely on the green. Now give Gosfield their dues because it has been absolutely horrific weather today. And although there is some, some parts that have got a bit of, bit of water, the majority of it is pretty good. There is not much movement. It may be a slight deviation in the green. It goes down, then up again. I think a good, solid putt, if I get the speed right, should be good. Tap in par. Now turn a bit. That's okay, isn't it? It's slightly, slightly longer and slightly left, but we've still got to look at it. Could have maybe given myself a better look, but a look is a look. Yes, Zach, right. Par on the ball, that's our best start to this episode. Best start to this episode. Par the first hole, moving on to the second hole, let's go. Right, next hole, ladies and gentlemen, after a strong start. This is the par three, second hole. Today it's 170 yards. We've got two greenside bunkers. It looks like it slopes right to left. I reckon the bailout, I reckon the bailout is to the right. Oh, I towed it, but it's down that line. It might kick left. No, bit slippy, bit slippy, but we're okay. Come on, I'm, I'm, feeling, I'm feeling good. No matter what happens today, I don't think my positive energy is gonna be rocked today. I think I'm in it, I think I'm in it. I'm in the zone, I'm in the vibes. Vibing, zoning, raining. <laughs> Pin eye, I'm, I'm happy where Lana is, just slightly right, but that's because I towed it. Gotta to think smart now, how am I gonna get down here? Maybe a little wedge, kick the bank and might 
because we don't want to fly it too far, because if we fly it too far, it's then gone, isn't it? It's a bit more than that, but if you were to go too far, you've gone off the back, haven't you? <laughs> what a start. Right, focus. I'm not going to get too excited even though I really want to, but we're going to stay confident. Come on! Right, ladies and gentlemen, next hole is par four, 356 yards. You can't see it from here, but what it is, it goes downhill slowly and then there's a little pond slash lake that you have to kind of come over to get on the green. Let's go. I think my line, if you can see over my left shoulder, I think my line is that isolated tree on its own. I think that's my line. I think it's okay though, I don't know. I saw it bounce, but the thing is, because I don't really know this course, I don't know if that goes right down there into those trees, but then I, I can't imagine me hitting that far. I don't know, we'll find out. It could be okay. It could be just a long chip over to the green. We are safely, I mean, it's on the, it's on the rough, but listen, ladies and gentlemen, safely dry. <laughs> I say that on, the, on a wet day, but we're dry relative to that lake pond down there. The green you could just see in the distance, that white flag. Right, come on. I'm going for a seven iron because my seven iron can go 160, 165, but it has been known to go 170. And it's downhill, wind is slightly behind us. So it could be the right club, that's what I'm thinking. Oh, oh, that's in, isn't it? I mean, I did fat it, I just, that's all right, that's all right, it's all right. We've got a drop down there, it's red stake. We don't have to take from here. Get it up on that green. Get it up on that green. Oh. 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 That's okay, we're gonna have one of those. Oh, that killed it in that muddy bit there. Unfortunately, this is for double bogey, but doesn't matter. Only one hole. We clean up, damage limitations, move on. Plenty of holes left, and we can also look to get birdies today, I reckon. Oh, look at that for speed. Look, look at that for speed. Right, concentrate, even though it's one of these. There we go. Right, we are in for the trips. Move on to the next hole. Let's go. Next hole is a par five, fourth hole, playing 440 yards today. It's a dog leg right, goes round to the right hand side. My aim is I'm gonna go over that corner tree. That's gonna be the aim, because I think left is dead again. That's nice. That's nice. Excellent, right. Driver looks like it could be working today, which is a very good sign to start with. Let's go. I might get the old gun out. Get your guns out. 211 to that tree behind that single tree. You know that single tree? That bushier one at the back. That's 211. Right, ladies and gentlemen, so this is, wasn't as what I expected. I thought it was a dog leg right and stayed there, but it actually now dog legs left as well. Uh, so, I'm gonna try and aim over the top of that single tree on his own. Oh, God, it is above my feet, so I'm gonna aim to the left, er, uh, to the right. Oh, no! Oh, that looks so good for so long. <laughs> That looks so good, I thought that was just gonna cruise over the top of it. That tree, <laughs> that one tree, I thought, I thought I was just clearing it. I thought I was clearing it. 
wasn't to be, but it's okay. We're here. I'm gonna grip down. I've got 56 in hand. I've got 90 yards in to go. I wanna get it up. If I hit that puddle, then surely I get relief from a puddle, right? That's lovely. That's lovely. Oh! It's on. That was lovely. That was a cut down as well, because I gripped down on it. It looked good. It did look good. I enjoyed that flight. Right. The excitement. <laughs> Long putt for the birdie, but it's a two putt par if we do this smart, right? I'd be very, I'd be very happy with that. I've just looked at the green, but just kind of disregarded what I looked at. I reckon it's, well, it's down here, but I reckon it might drift to the left. So I'm going to just aim slightly to the right. It'll be left on your perspective. That was a bit too much. That was a bit too much, but it's all right. Confident enough. Roll that in. Is it all mush? It is all mush, isn't it? Don't know how that's going to react with the speed. There we go, right, we've got that par. Smart play again. Come on! <laughs> you should see Zach's face behind the camera. <laughs> Next hole, the par three, playing 160 yards. Beautiful looking, absolutely beautiful looking. Pond right in front of me, uphill is the green. I've got the trusty seven, seven iron in hand. What a beautiful view this is. Struck nice, but it's just left. Yeah, okay, I saw it. Struck beautifully. Again, I'm really happy at the moment how my eyes are going. Come on, come on, it's just showing I didn't hit the green. <laughs> Pin eye. Again, lovely strike, just pulled it left a bit, slightly lefty. But it's okay because now we've just got to, just got to get it close. One putt par. Lovely job. Oh, what a, did you see that bounce? Do you see that went doing? Oh, that's a shame. I thought that might have killed dead, but might be a little bit drier on this green than the other greens. So it did roll off, which is a shame. It's a beautiful hole, beautiful hole. Yeah, it's all right. We'll get that putt for the bogey, just clean up, tidy up. That's okay. That's okay. Smart. Smart. Right. We have bogeyed it, but it's okay, ladies and gentlemen, because I did miss the green, so you can't you can't win it all. If you keep if you keep missing greens, you can't expect to keep making pars. Let's go. Hole six, par five, 462 yards. This one is a dog leg right, so you'll see the bunker and it'll sweep straight to the right hand side. I'm gonna go over this tree here, that's the aim. And then if it cuts a bit, then I, I might get a bit more yardage on it. The bunker in front of me is 240 and I just fear, I don't know why, but I might end up in it on the off chance. So I'm taking that off chance out. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh, I see it. <laughs> it was that snaky, it was that snaky, it missed all the long stuff. <laughs> yes, we like that because I can still play that. It was snaky as hell. We love the snakes. <laughs> oh God. We are on this side, got to come over this long stuff. There is a bunker at the distance. What I'm going to do, I think, is the smart play, because I can't zap the bunker. I'm gonna hit an eight iron in position. It's par five, isn't it? So let's we do this again, smart, smart play. Par five is where we're gonna make scores up today. No, why have you thinned it? How have you thinned it? What have you done? What have you done? <laughs> no. What have you done? How have you thinned it? <laughs> no. Oh no, how have I done that? What have I done? <laughs> oh, 
Oh God. Right, ladies and gentlemen, we have lost it in that long stuff. Look at look, 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 there's just, you see it pop in, but you just can't find it. So we've, we've given up the ghost on it, but we're not getting it in our head because we're not having another episode of Benton Hall. So I'm gonna stay positive. It's just one of those things, it happens, right? I've looked and I'm about 200 yards still away from the green. I'm literally just gonna hit an eight iron up there again and just get it as far up there as possible. This is our fourth shot, you know. So we still can, we can still score well on this if we just play smart now. That's a lovely strike. That's, that is, if that was long enough, that'd be on, on the green. See it bouncing. That's a good strike. Excellent. It's a shame I couldn't do that in the first place, but it's okay. We're up there, let's move on. Right, we're, we're gonna have one of these holes every now and again. We are now hitting our fifth shot on this par five. Uh, I've got 56 in hand. I'm not really sure how to play this one because it's not a green side bunker. Maybe if I clubbed up a bit more, that might have been the right club. Maybe. Might have actually made the green, but never mind. Oh, that little thing caught it again. That's all right. That's all right. It's a good little chip up. It's gone very high pitched. <laughs> oh! 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 A bit more speed would have kept it on the line or just leave it a bit higher up. Never mind. Right. What was that? That was a two putt but it ended up being a trips. We like a trips. It's better than a blob. Next hole ladies and gentlemen. Seventh hole par four. Again another beautiful looking hole. You've got water to the left hand side. You've got two trees. I suppose you've got a group of trees there left and then one tree on its own on the right green it's fairly straight I mean it doesn't seem too much trouble if I can get a, a drive up there nice then we should be okay oh that was right at the bottom but that's gonna work really poor but not a bad place to leave it that, it was poor ladies and gentlemen it was poor nearly <laughs> nearly missed the ball completely but we go over it and we're up there near that dead tree. It's nice. <laughs> the bailout actually worked out quite well because we've now got 109 to the front edge, 124 to the middle. Um, it's a nice wedge. If I can get this 48 there, it's a nice wedge. And then we're on the green. Come on. Oh no. Leaked it out right. Didn't catch all of that. Never mind. Here we go. It is just a little 30 yarder, little chippy upper. It's in a tight spot though, that, that, that pin, isn't it? Go, go, go. That was so online. That was so online. If I just gave a little bit more, that was so online, Zach. Oh, that could have been so good. It's a bit of a slope one, ladies and gentlemen. It's gonna slope from right to left. Seems to be a little bank here. Very, very discreet bank. Didn't hit it. I tell you, again, speed was per perfect, wasn't it? Speed was perfect. I need to get these greens in reg. If I get these greens in reg, we are then definitely shooting pars. Definitely shooting pars, because again there, had I not hit that wedge and I had just made the green, we could have two putted for the par. We are, we are so close to some really good golf, so close. Next hole, ladies and gentlemen, it's a par three once again, hole eight. 152 yards it's playing, it looks like it's greenside bunkers. The sun's coming out now, stunning. Wind behind me again, <clears throat> I've got an eight iron. Come on, let's get one on the, on the, on the green, come on. Come a little bit, come a bit, come a bit, come a bit. Okay, 
Again, that's probably pin eye, isn't it? It's probably pin eye, it's just just a little bit right. It was a nice strike. If I look at the look at the divot, that's actually the direction it was going. So maybe that was more down to my alignment. But hey listen. Every time I'm striking it like this, we've got a chance. Come on, I'm feeling really good. Come on. Definitely the right club, pin eye. It's just I leaked it right. Well, as we saw from my alignment, my alignment wasn't right to start with. It was it's spot on pin eye. It's a shame that. But let's move on from it. Literally just going to go for a little wedge. It does slope, as you can see there. It does, just show them that, Zach, it does slope from the back downwards. So it's going to come right to left as I hit it. So let's just get a little one there. Just fly it up. Come on. Oh, that just stopped dead. That just stopped dead. Ah, oh, I thought that was going to roll out a bit. I suppose because it is wet. I mean, it's hard to judge though because some of the greens are really, really taking the grass, the the water nicely. Some of them are just holding it a bit. And this is one of those moments where it did hold it a bit. It's a long part for par, but it, again, it's very, very makeable. Very makeable. Come on, these greens are unbelievable. Considering the amount of rainfall we've had, you'll know which day I'm talking about that we filmed this. Uh, but this the rainfall that we had today was torrential. Was it Storm Anthony or something? Storm Anthony. Storm Anthony. Storm Anthony. We've had so much rain and the greens have been incredible so far. Oh, it's run, isn't it? Oh, yeah. I didn't want to look. I didn't want to look. Uphill putt, same power, same speed. Should drop in. Have I four putted? Is this hole got a, is it, is it filled in? I don't know what to say. <laughs> All I can do is just laugh in amazement. I think, uh, hopefully that's brought some humour to your, to your uh, viewing. <laughs> that was just, what on earth happened there? Right, come on. This is a par four, ninth hole, 354 yards, a slight dog leg right, back up to the clubhouse. Lost it in the flight. Oh yeah, see it. Wasn't a very good strike. Cut across that one. I, what I normally, when I'm swinging, I normally swing outwards with my driver and it helps with straightening up. That one, I didn't feel like I swung outwards. But it's okay, because it's still there and it's not in the long stuff. I saw it bounce just before, so come on. Poor drive, poor drive. We've got 143 yards to go. We've got trees all up here. I'm gonna see if I can actually hit a nine iron high enough. The reason why I'm going for the shot, even though you might be thinking that's silly, is because even if I went for a low punchy one, I'm not getting past that last tree anyway. So if I can get this one up high, I might have a chance of catching the front edge. That's what I think. Oh. Hmm. That was so close, wasn't it? That little gap there, the, probably the one of the tallest parts. Yeah. I had that little gap there, which I could have got. Never mind. You get risk reward, isn't it? Bit gutting, but what can you do? I'll tell you what you do. You move on from it. Right. Pitching wedge, I think, because I can keep it low enough. Oh no, Lewis. Oh no, Lewis. Oh no, Lewis. So this is what I wanted to do. I wanted to make it exciting for the back nine. Did you not know that's what I was trying to do?
just need to throw it a little bit further. It's a good, just good shot. It's just I'm not throwing them far enough. That's all it is. It's slightly uphill and then slightly. From our perspective, it's going to be right to left. Left that short, didn't I? What was that? Trip. Just before we move on to the back nine, I'm going to put the scores up there now, so you'll see all the scores there from the front nine. Some very promising holes as well as some really dodgy holes, but hopefully we can build on those positive holes, knowing that it is in there, we are capable of doing it. We're going into the back nine now, 15 over par. Come on, let's stay strong, let's stay focused, we can do this, let's go. Right, ladies and gentlemen, this is the start of the back nine. It's the 10th hole, it's a par four, severe dog leg right. You can't really play a driver, but I'm playing a driver. <laughs> um, the reason why I'm playing the driver is because I know that that tree over there is 200 yards, and if it does cut a bit, then I still, it's still gonna filter down there. Maybe if I just hit a, a little patty drive and don't try and wallop it, that might be a good option. Get through that tree. Got through the tree, it wasn't, that was a patty one and that was a good line had I not hit that tree. It's a shame that. It's a shame that. Didn't really go anywhere. <laughs> so I'm gonna hybrid. I'm gonna do a hybrid. I can do this on the green, uh, on the range, so why can't I do it here? Confidence. Come on. Get through. <laughs> oh no. Unlucky, unlucky. Never mind, this hole is a bit of a dodgy hole. <laughs> this hole is a, it's a difficult one because I'm not long enough to reach the dog leg over there. So if you were long enough, you could drive it over there. I had to try and lay it up here, which is not giving you much anyway. You're still going to have at least 200 yards in anyway on a par four. So this hole was always going to be a difficult one for me. Never mind, let's come on, let's go. Running it up to the edge of the green. Bit like that. Yeah, it's okay, it will play, it will play. It's good recovery, come on. Oh, that wind pulled it. That wind's pulled it. That wind's pulled it. Oh, lit me up. Well, we like the trips today. That's all right, it's a trips. It's a trips, isn't it, Zach? We like a trip. Let's go for a lovely little trip. The 11th hole is par five once again. 457 yards, not much longer than the par four we just played. That wind is directly into us now. Directly into us. Should play nicely, just stay at that bunker, right? Yeah. See, it's near that silver birch. Okay, right, let's move on. Par fives, we like par fives. Let's try and build from now, forget those other holes. We're 18 over as it stands, but let's try and make some pars. Yeah, I don't know what else to say. 267 left in. We got away that one, we're 120 yards in. Gap wedge in hand. Come on, come on, focus. Oh, nice slip there, but that's gonna be all right. Stay there. I spun off the front. <sighs> Never mind. Never mind. We're pretty much putting, I'd say, just because it's just not the short stuff. This weather today does not know what it wants to do. It was beautiful sunshine maybe half an hour ago. Oh. 
Here comes the rain, little darling. Here comes the rain, I'll say. It's alright. Rain, 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 here it comes. Pa, 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 here it comes. There we go, that'll do. That settled the boat a bit. We've got a par, ladies and gentlemen. Move on to the next hole. It's getting wet, so we're going to speed this up. Let's go. Next hole is a par four, 12 hole par four, 368 yards. Pretty straight. You've got danger on the left with the bunkers. Long stuff on the right. Come on. Let's just let's just have a bit of fortune now because the score is not reflecting, I don't think, how we played today. Oh, no. Yeah, that was, that was poor, though. Come on, let's go. So 144 yards in, eight iron. Nope. That was terrible. That was so bad. <laughs> so bad, yet yeah. it's on the edge of the green. <laughs> I'm glad I got that. I mean, listen, we'll take a bogey on that hole, won't we? Next hole, ladies and gentlemen, it's the 13th hole. It's a par four once again, 317 yards. It is a slight dog leg left. There's two bunkers that are either side of the fairway. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. That's a reload. Hmm, it's, it's a bit terrible. It's in play, but it's, it's nowhere near where it needs to be. Ladies and gentlemen, we have literally got lucky as hell, made up for those really poor shots on the par three. It's here. It's not bad, it's all flattened down, so it's not bad. It's not bad at all. Um, right, what we got in? 130, but I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna be able to do that unless I could hit a pitch. I could try hitting a pitch wedge, that's still a wedge, right? Let's try and hit a wedge. What a lifeline. What a lifeline. Right, let's get. That thing's gonna be annoying, isn't it? That thing's going to be annoying. <laughs> right, come on. Just get it out. Yeah, we're out. It's all right, it's left. Okay. I'm just glad that we found it. Like, that could have been an absolute catastrophe. Oh, go though. Okay, well, poor shot. Poor, but come on, positive. Let's go. <laughs> oh, that was such that was such the line. I just didn't give it enough. That was such the line. I saw it and I was thinking that's going in. Just wasn't strong enough. Was not strong enough. As soon as it left the face, I thought it was a bit fast. I thought it was a bit speedy. Right, let's double, double on it, yeah? Double. Let's move on. Right, ladies and gentlemen, this is the 14th hole, par four, 405 yards. Bunk on the right-hand side of the fairway. Right, let's just, let's just knock one down there. We are fighting elements once again. We love fighting elements. For some reason, we just seem to always do it. So, come on. Stay out of that bunker, but also stay out of that long stuff. In the bunker. <laughs> we know where it is. Oh, God. <laughs> During the summer, Zach, 
The handicap series is meant to be done during the summer. This is meant to be the summer. <laughs> what is going on? It's not like we're going, yeah, let's do the handicap series in the winter. We've gone, right, we'll do it in the summer. We can get a decent handicap, fair weather. <laughs> it ain't happened. We're taking it out of there because it's in the water. See the water there? See the water? So come backwards. We've got uh, 200 yards to go. Water 100, 160 odd, but we've got wind behind us and it's downhill and it's in the rough. So I'm thinking I'm getting a flyer and just go for it. Ripper. Let it fly, baby. That was top spin. <laughs> that was top spin, it might not stop. I got top spin. <laughs> Come on, let's go and investigate. <laughs> right, top spin. We love a top spin, we're now here. It's gotta be a stubby one. I got water to the right, I just really gotta be careful of that water. But, stubby eight, could be right. So I can literally just go there and just stub it there. You know where this is going though, don't you? We all know where this is going. We all know where this is going. <laughs> I can't believe I got it. Look, from here, I managed to get it round the tree. Excellent, excellent. There we go. You like this? This is a great, great view, isn't it? What am I doing? What are we doing? <laughs> Meant to be summer handicap series. I don't know. I've lost my head, everyone. <laughs> I've lost my head. I've lost my head. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just, where am I? Hello? <laughs> oh, good. Oh, well, that's a relief. Oh. <laughs> That'll do, innit? Sit now. What is happening? Just having a breakdown, I think. Let me know, ladies and gentlemen, do any of you, it's a serious question, do any of you, bear in mind if you're still watching at this point, but do any of you, when it's weather like this or conditions like this and you're on the golf course, do you give up score counting and just play with what you got? Or do you continue to do your score counting? I'd be interested to know. Not bad effort. Not bad effort. What's this for? Uh, triple. triple. Oh, crikey. Right, come on then, next hole. Right, this is the 15th hole par three, 179 yards. You've got bunker right in the way, which I reckon we're gonna go in. <laughs> no, I thinned it, I got it right out the bottom groove. So I didn't hit it very well, that hurt my thick fingers. I think it went in the bunker, yeah. <laughs> I'm 24 over, Zach. Don't take it to heart. Yeah, but does, uh, I am a high handicapper, aren't I? Are you with me, Smith? Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, in the bunker. <laughs> Come on. We're out. Wasn't the wasn't really the shot I was trying to play. 
this. <laughs> you know what I should do, Zach? Because all this you're saying is being being lost. I need I need to next time we do something, I need to mic you up. <laughs> Because <laughs> some of the comments you're coming out with are hilarious. <laughs> right, come on. It's a be It's a, such a shame the weather because it's such a beautiful course. It's a beautiful day. <laughs> I think we've lost our heads, haven't we? I think we've lost our heads in this weather. Well, that's another one. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, I tell you what, is that double? Yeah. I tell you what, ladies and gentlemen, no one, no one ever can deny the dedication that we put into this. Because <laughs> this is two rounds on the trot of being in ridiculous conditions. Oh, it's par, it's par four, 16th hole, 351 yards. It's been a struggle today, but we are continuing as we always do. Uh, let's go. Let's go. Shall we go? Yeah, okay. Come on in. It was a lovely strike. Just... That's all right. I've got a problem at the moment with not being able to close that face. I don't know why. I'm... I used to be able to hit a really nice drive and for some reason something's happened. Um, which is just perfect timing for the handicap series that my driver stops working. <laughs> Going 9 iron, 139 yards. Go 9 iron. Above my feet. Oh, you fatty, fatty weasel. Oh, yeah. Fat, fat city. Give yourselves, I give myself opportunities, right? So you see that, I give myself an opportunity, but then I absolutely destroy the opportunity. It's so bizarre, isn't it? But it uh, yeah, I don't know, bizarre, bizarre. Or just slap it. Just slap, slap city. You see that rimmed it. 17th, 144 yards, par three. Let's go. I think it's just front edge. I think it's front edge. Good strike. That's one positive to take from it, I think, is that there's been quite a lot of good strikes today. I'm knackered now. Three hours later, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Look at this water again. <sighs> the last hole, final hole, put you out your misery, ladies and gentlemen. Par five, 478 yards, it's a dog leg left over the bunker, over some water, up the hill to the green. I think I'll find it. 
Yeah, that hurts. I, no, I thought I had a few layers on. What a, what a position. Watch your legs, actually, because I'm going to go that way, because I've got more of a swing. <laughs> yes, just add some more crap. <laughs> I ain't going to get a full swing on this. Then get in good position, I think. <laughs> there we go. Right, well, we've got a look now. We have got a look now, but it's a, it's a shame. I've really thought today, genuinely, after the first couple of holes, I mean, arriving here this morning, or this afternoon, I should say, arriving here this afternoon, I was coming here going, I feel good. My game, irons are good, my wedges are good, putting's okay, my driving let me down recently, and I was hoping my driving would be okay. And then after those first couple of holes, first few holes, and the driving wasn't bad, I thought we were on to one. I thought we were going to have a good one today. Just a little bit gutted, ladies and gentlemen, a little bit gutted. Let's close out this 18th. Come on. Here we go. We've got a tree. We've got a tree to navigate now. <laughs> Come on. Let's navigate this tree. Oh, fatted it. Ta! <laughs> right, I saw where that went. Did you see where that went? I did. All right, let me get my divot. So we are 178 yards away. Got lucky that it didn't go in the water. Oh, it's just all slipping out my hands, everything now. Come on then. It's come out my hand again. Has that gone over the back? No? Is it on? Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, another ordeal. Another EastEnders episode of a round. <laughs> I wonder if that could be the title. East End, if, if EastEnders did golf. <laughs> Stay up. Oh. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. I'm going to put the score up now. It's been, um, I missed the ball there, isn't it? Uh, it's been an up and down roller coaster today. It's such a shame. It's such a shame. We've started well, we played well in moments, but what can you say? Maybe my handicap is really coming out now. I don't know what it is. Genuinely never known what it is. So this is why we're finding it out. Um, thank you so much for the support, the love of support, ladies and gentlemen. I've had a better game than Benton Hall and I've enjoyed it regardless. Big love to all of you. Let's go. Keep it up.